as our economy is slowly transforming into an industrial economy, we can't ignore the industrial waste and hazardous materials that are generated in this industrial revolution. I'd like to introduce to you an entrepreneur that has designed a solution to mitigate the effects that are generated by this hazardous material. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Edgar Akampurira and his team from AEN Holdings. is now yours. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Edgar Akampulira. I'm the co-director and founder of AEN Holding Limited, a licensed and certified industrial and hazardous waste management company in Uganda. Uh, my name is uh, Nyombi Ibrahim. I'm the operations manager of AEN Holdings Uganda Limited. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Did you know that 500,000 tons of industrial and hazardous waste is generated per day in the major towns of Uganda? 60% of this waste is, dis is not disposed in a proper manner, finding its way in the fragile ecosystems, managing a few but mainly wetlands, rivers, lakes, and drainage channels, causing a major health threat to our lives. We as AEN holding, this gave birth to an opportunity to manage this hazardous and industrial waste in an environmental acceptable standard as stipulated by the National Environment Management Authority. We still realized and analyzed why our brothers and sisters are getting trouble with all these new diseases of cancer, uh, diarrhea, uh, etc. was the fact that this 60% waste uh, going into eco-sensitive uh, areas like rivers where we get our source of water for domestic consumption uh, have triggered uh, toxins into the bodies resulting into these cancers. That was a primary goal why we came up and said, no, let's save the lives of our brothers and sisters in this country by giving a solution right from source by ensuring proper waste management. So AEN Holdings Limited provides industrial waste management services to factories and industries, warehouses for expired goods, fuel service stations, and hospitals. And uh, that's the way we make money. We make money from waste generated by those uh, factories, hospitals, refueling stations, just like my colleague has said. And uh, we charge our clients uh, a price for disposal of this kind of waste that ranges between 1,500 to 2,500, depending on the type of waste they generate. And uh, at the end of the day, our minimum profit margin is 450 as it rises up depending on how expensive the price is for disposal. Uh, for the number of clients that we have worked on, of course we started from scratch, now we boost over 312 clients. We help them in reduction in cost 
reduction in terms of environmental penalties, what they would have spent in environmental penalties, that one is we have made them reduce the cost. We have also increased, helped them increase part of their revenue because most of these industries and factories are not aware or are not informed of environmental management practices. So we help them reduce on the source of the waste sorting and they have found themselves making money through some of the recyclables which would have found its way in, 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 in landfill. Uh, similarly, when you look at uh, the interesting bit is how attractive the market would be. Uh, the market for waste is estimated at a value of 131 million US dollars. Uh, to make it more interesting, we have drivers that, that uh, inject, next slide please, so that uh, uh, my, my, my people would probably see what I'm talking about. Slide of the market please. Yes. Uh, when you look at uh, the market drivers where government policy on FDI valued at uh, 1.3 billion, still injects, is injected into this kind of market. Uh, we are seeing industrial parks coming up. They generate this kind of waste. We are seeing a prospect of oil and gas contributing around 5.1 billion US dollars. So in short, the market is very attractive for us to invest in because so far we are occupying 0.6% of that kind of market. So far, as I said, we have 312 so far uh, clients who have been growing at the rate of 10%. We have established a footprint in the markets based in, 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 in central and eastern Uganda. Uh, of course, we have also invested so much in, in, in capacity building of our staff. And also, we have been currently, we are hiring, we are relying on hired trucks. We are currently using eight trucks for our work. Uh, to remind you a little, this kind of sector is highly regulated by NEMA and uh, our license has been renewed for the last five years to be able to participate in this kind of market. Our roadmap, uh, 2021, we are looking at scaling up our businesses because at the moment we have been operating mainly in eastern and central Uganda. So in line with government policy of establishment of, of gazetted industrial parks in, in, across different regions, so we are targeting that market to serve the industries that are coming up in those regions. In 2022, we are looking at uh, developing capacity operationally and uh, logistical uh, to be able to tackle the oil and gas. Uh, we are also looking at registering ourselves on the national database for oil and gas to be able to tap into that new and sensitive sector. Uh, 2023, we realized that Currently in Uganda, we do not own any electronic waste recycling plant. And we realize that electronic waste is becoming a serious and emerging uh, issue. So we, we also intend to start uh, part of electronic recycling in 2023. Uh, this kind of, uh, of uh, facility will be able to tackle this kind of waste because we are identified in this country. We don't have an electronic uh, AE plant that destroys the electronic waste because, for example, when you look at all these gadgets we're using, they are electronic gadgets, but after their life shelf, they will have to be uh, disposed of. But we do not have an appropriate uh, site where these gadgets can be disposed of. So we were proposing that uh, in, in 2023, we set up our own facility together with uh, the partnership of uh, the investors because we expect that this kind of facility will take up to around two million US dollars. Uh, in 2024, we're looking at uh, our business scaling up and expanding to Kenya and Tanzania. Basically, our product is waste management. Uh, we identify the waste generators, just as we have identified. We have factories, we have industries, we have hospitals for medical waste, we have warehouses and fuel stations. So our, our service is, waste, is, is, is uh, waste transportation because we're fully licensed by NEMA. So we identify waste generators, we transport to licensed 
disposal facility. Uh, the ask. Uh, we are looking at injecting in uh, close to 200 million, and this will cater for the working capital since this kind of uh, uh, business looks at you being liquid, be able to execute the disposal of this uh, kind of waste, and that would take around 48%. We shall also need to procure trucks and uh, equipment to be able to handle uh, the, the kind of waste generated through industry, hospitals, etc. We shall also need marketing of, of our products to be able to sensitize our clients not to dump this waste in drainage channels, but to use the appropriate uh, disposal mechanisms. And the impact of investing in this 200 million Uganda shillings will increase our profit margin from currently 9.5 million per month to around 14.8 million per month. So we are seeing that increase as a result of uh, the 200 million and also covering the extra four regions of north and, uh, and western region. Yeah, and last day we have an experienced team. Uh, I personally have a 10-year experience. I've worked in NEMA. I understand the whole concept of waste management. Uh, we have Ibrahim Nyomi, who is also experienced, who, who was part of the team which formulated the Electronic Waste uh, National Policy Formulation. Uh, we have Esther Gloria uh, Arine Itwe, who is who's their finance manager, who will handle and in charge of all the accountability for all the project money and every finances that we get. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, AEN Holdings. Ladies and gentlemen, do we have any questions for AEN Holdings? Questions? Queries? Is a question? Let's try and keep the questions brief because they went slightly overboard. Thank you very much. Uh, you're asking for 200 for how much? What's the percentage? Someone is taking. The 200 is for how, what percentage? Uh, when you look at uh, the, the amount of money we are asking for is 200 million to be injected into the business. And we are looking at uh, creating an impact of over 5 point something percent to business. I think, are you referring to what we shall do the money with? No, equity. Are you asking oh, equity yes. or is it debt? Okay. okay. We are, we are looking at debt for now. However, when you look at uh, investing, in, 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 uh, investing in, uh, in the e electronic waste plant, we are looking at equity and debt as well. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? Do we have an expression of interest? Uh, thank you so much, and uh, I, I think there are a number of things that uh, um, you have talked about. Uh, you have mentioned your roadmaps, and there are really heavy activities that you are talking about. I probably think that uh, the capacity that you have mentioned may not may actually uh, cause you to have an early death if we could say that. My advice, first of all, is that you take a project and take it through. Um, there is a lot of interest from a government perspective under the lo local content in the oil and gas sector. I, I probably think that if you can take um, that as a project on its own, and of course start by registering into the portal. Uh, Uganda Investment Authority is in advanced stages of uh, signing an MOU with uh, UNOC to see how we support SMEs in the area of becoming critical players within the local content. And we would be interested in having that discussion going forward. Uh, the second thing I wanted to ask you, you have mentioned that you're doing business and you are targeting industrial parks. Uh, we know that you, the Uganda Investment Authority has supported 
um, supported the creation of industrial park for both FDIs and domestic uh, direct investors, which is owned and run by Uganda Investment Authority. But we also do have a number of PPPs, especially if you drive between Kampala and the eastern part of Uganda Mbari. I wonder if you have done any direct discussions with Uganda Investment Authority on those issues of actually building your clientele base on the critical areas. And if not, that is a second offer we would like to give you now that we can arrange for you to start having that discussion so that you remain focused on the most hazardous and ways that you seem to have pitched very well on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, hand of applause. Okay, A.N., thank you for your presentation, uh, and good luck.